Nice work. Prepare the pancake. Check your fuel. Interesting facts about famous people. John Wayne's Aviation Movies Wayne certainly spent most of his movie-making career in the saddle, or with his feet firmly on the ground, where he walked with his trademark swagger. However, there were several movies where he looked to the sky and spent time in the clouds. Today we will take a look at his aviation movies, in wartime and not. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. Flying Tigers, 1942. John Wayne as Captain Jim Gordon. Gordon commands a unit of the famed Flying Tigers, the American volunteer group which fought the Japanese in China before America's entry into World War II. Gordon must send his outnumbered band of fighter pilots out against overwhelming odds while juggling the disparate personalities and problems of his fellow flyers. In particular, he must handle the difficulties created by a reckless hotshot pilot named Woody Jason, who not only wants to fight a one-man war, but to waltz off with Gordon's girlfriend. The Flying Tiger's planes were full-size mock-ups, made mostly of plywood and balsa wood, not, as has often been thought, real aircraft. The engine noises were sound effects added after production. Flying Leathernecks, 1951. John Wayne as Major Daniel Xavier Kirby. Kirby takes command of a squadron of marine flyers just before they are about to go into combat. While the men are well-meaning, are undisciplined and always finding excuses to do what is easy rather than what is necessary. The problem is the second in command, Captain Carl Griff, Griffin. Griff is the best flyer in the group, but a poor commander, not prepared to make the difficult decisions that all commanders have to make, to put men in harm's way knowing that they may be killed. Marines got the nickname of Leathernecks from the fact that the early uniforms had a collar made of leather, which was intended to protect the throat from knife wounds. There was some controversy over the casting, since John Wayne and Robert Ryan were clearly much older than real pilots during World War II. Islands in the Sky, 1953. John Wayne as Captain Dooley. Dooley and his crew of four are flying a mission in a Douglas C-47 Sky Train. They experience icy conditions in uncharted wilderness near the Quebec-Labrador border. Dooley, a former airline pilot who has been pressed into duty hauling war supplies across the northern route to England. Unable to make radio contact for bearings, they land on a frozen lake far from civilization and can only provide an approximate position to rescuers. Compass readings are unstable in this region. Dooley must keep his men alive while waiting for rescue in the extreme winter cold with temperatures plummeting to minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit. With limited food at headquarters, Colonel Fuller gathers fellow airmen, close colleagues of Dooley, who are determined to find the down crew before the men succumb to hunger and cold. The searchers experience frustration and fear when their initial attempts are unsuccessful. From the data they have, it seems Dooley went down on the far side of a range of mountains that doesn't even appear on their maps. In the face of an approaching storm, they are unsure as to what their final attempt should be. A wrong decision will doom the missing crew. The downed crew are able to use a hand crank generator to send a weak signal that will hopefully be picked up. The High and the Mighty, 1954. John Wayne as Dan Roman. On a flight from Hawaii to California, the engine dies on the plane Dan is flying. As he prepares for a crash landing, the passengers reassess their lives. The template for disaster movies with an Oscar-winning score and a cast list that reads like a who's who of 1950s film. Spencer Tracy was originally cast as Dan Roman. He backed out of the film, however, after hearing several negative comments about how strict a disciplinarian director William A. Wellman was. 
John Wayne's role is largely unscripted, especially in the first half of the film. Nearly all of his performance is conveyed through facial expression. The Wings of Eagles, 1957. John Wayne as Frank W. Spig Weed. Spig is a fun-loving and rowdy adventurer, but also a fierce proponent of naval aviation. His dedication to the promotion of the Navy flying program is so intense that his marriage and family life suffer. When an accident paralyzes him, Spig finds a new meaning of expression, his love of flying, screenwriting. Successful and acclaimed, he finds the US entry into World War II to be an irresistible call, pleading that he can be reinstalled in the Navy despite his paralysis. Spig finds he has an enormous contribution yet to make. Most of the extras in the Pensacola, Florida scenes were actual Navy flight students and flight instructors. Although the Navy objected, director John Ford made certain that the military men were paid extra wages. John Ford was 25 years older than his character. Jet Pilot, 1957. John Wayne as Colonel Jim Shannon. Shannon is assigned to escort defecting Soviet pilot Anna. He falls in love with her, but she is scheming to lure him back to the USSR. But Shannon has a scheme of his own. The lead actors fretted that the screenplay was silly, with John Wayne only taking on the role because he thought it would make a political statement. He soon realized it would become one of the worst films he would ever make. John Wayne would later recall, the final budget was something like $4 million. It was just too stupid for words. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes and subscribers. Hit the notification bell to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel. The link's in the description. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.